Family of a local man killed in a crash involving an off duty state trooper is livid about the charges against that trooper. They were just announced today, nearly nine months after the crash, and the family says they don't go far enough. Johnny Ferelli, senior of Pitt Karen, died after he was rear ended at a stoplight last August. Jennifer Barrasso has his brother's angry reaction to the charges. Jen. Yeah, the charges are too lenient. Now, Trooper Tyler Streeny charged with multiple traffic violations and his brother, the victim's brother, saying it's special treatment. Harry Ferrelli is livid. It's disgusting. According to state police, 27-year-old Trooper Tyler Streeny was driving a BMW when he hit Johnny Ferrelli Sr. while he was sitting at a red light on Route 66 in Westmoreland County last year. Investigators say Strini did not slow down as he approached the stop traffic. Pirelli died at the hospital. About nine months later, Trooper Strini is charged with multiple summary traffic citations, including careless and reckless driving and speeding. Yeah, they're, they're giving him easy charges. The lenient, I've never seen it so lenient. State police confirmed Trooper Strini was off duty at the time. His shift in Uniontown had just ended. State police tell me Strini was not given a blood test at the time of the crash because there was no evidence to suggest he was under the influence. But Ferrelli's older brother, Henry, tells me he believes the trooper got special treatment. Off duty trooper hit him, killed him. What, what's been done? I have a CDL. If I hit someone and kill them, guess what? I go to jail. I get drug tested. I get an alcohol test. Everybody out there can say, oh, no, it don't work that way. Oh, yes, it does. This man got special treatment. Let's speak the facts. He got special treatment. My brother didn't get to walk home. That's the saddest part about the whole thing. We miss him. The Westmoreland County DA, Nicole Ziccarelli, defended the charges in a statement. She said, quote, our office recommends charges based upon the law and evidence. After a careful and thorough review of the evidence and accident reconstruction report, a determination was made that the evidence surrounding this accident would not support a charge of homicide by vehicle in this particular case. But Henry Farrelly disagrees. She's definitely wrong. She didn't do it right. Now he's looking at civil remedies. We were going to have to get an attorney and do something about it. It's only fair. Yeah, he was my best friend. He don't have to answer to me, but he will answer to God. A spokesperson tells me Trooper Strini is still working. An internal affairs investigation is underway to determine what, if any, discipline he will face. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK TV News.